Hey guys, Richard Blaine here, Mr. Easy Cooking. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. Tonight I'm going to make something simple, very easy. I'm just going to make an appetizer instead of going the long drawn out route that I usually go with a lot of dishes. I wish my bird in the background would be quiet. Tonight I'm going to make a nice little Italian starter. Okay, this particular starter is called Alici Marinari or Alici Marinari, depending on what part of Italy you come from. And you don't normally see it in all Italian restaurants, you'll only see it in the finer Italian restaurants. And as many of you know, I used to work in a very fine Italian restaurant, and yes, we serve this dish. And there are many ways to make it. Okay, I'm going to make it the way that Mr. Mele taught me how to make it. Alici Marinari, Italian for marinated anchovies. And I know anchovies make a lot of people cringe, but these aren't the tiny little anchovies that you see on pizza. Okay, these are raw anchovies that are going to be cooked in vinegar and a couple of other ingredients and it's going to be delicious and it's served as a starter on a plate, makes a lovely sandwich, it's good, it goes great on a bruschetta, it goes good on anything if you happen to like this particular kind of food. So as usual with YouTube, unlimited minutes, let's get going and I'm going to show you how to make Alici Marinari. So what we have here is Alici, okay, anchovies. These are raw anchovies. There we go. Okay. These are raw anchovies. Like I said, these aren't the kind that you find in the can, although if they're processed that way, there you go. Okay. These are anchovies that I purchased at the Asian market. They're nice and plump. And this is what we're going to marinate. We're going to take off the head. Okay. We're going to remove the guts and we're going to remove the spines. And then we're going to marinate these in vinegar. So I thought I would show you what this stuff looks like. Okay. There are many ways to prepare this dish. You don't have to go this long route like I'm going, but this is the traditional way. Nice, fresh anchovy. So let's turn the page and start filleting these fish out. Now, the way you prepare these anchovies is you have to remove the head and the guts, and that's rather easy to do. And I hope you can see exactly what I'm doing, but right under the gill, you pinch with your index finger and thumb with your left hand. And with your right hand, you bend the head forward. And you see the guts? Okay? And you come straight down. Okay? Then you split the alishi open with your finger. And there's some more guts. And you keep going. And you feel for the spine, which is right here in the tail section. And you grab that with your index finger and thumb. Okay, break it off, and there's your spine, okay, and right here, okay, that is one fillet of an anchovy. Now, I'm going to do about two pounds worth of these alishi, these anchovy, just like this. I'm going to remove the head, I'm going to remove the guts, I'm going to rinse them off, and then I'm going to plate them inside of a Pyrex dish for the marination process. So I'm going to take care of the next two pounds, okay. Just like this, I'll do one more for you. Get a nice chubby one. There we go. Okay, here we go. A nice, fresh anchovy. Okay. Right there by the gills, and I know it's kind of hard to see. Okay. Just right underneath the gill, with your left hand, thumb and forefinger, you squeeze a little bit. Move the head back and forth, right, left, once. And then bend the head forward and come straight down the stomach of the anchovy and there are the guts okay there's a little bit left over okay you take your finger and the stomach will continue to split I've got the spine on this one right here okay there we go and the fillet will just open up there you go okay this one was a tough one and you gotta rinse these off some of the skin comes off there's some more gut okay and there's a nice fillet. I'm gonna take care of the next two pounds and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I've filleted the anchovies. I removed the heads and the spines and this is what you have left. This is the fillet of an anchovy. Not much different than what you get in the can, you know, but it's not salted, okay, and it hasn't been changed into that really dark brown color that you see a baby anchovy in the can. <clears throat> but this anchovy has the head and the tail removed and the spine and the guts. Okay, this is just a clean fillet. Now, 
what I'm going to do is I am going to line this baking dish with fillets of anchovy, filetti. Okay? Filetti di anchovy. Okay? Filetti alici. Filetti alici. Okay? I'm going to line this baking dish with these fillets. And then I'm going to add some vinegar to cook it. Okay? Now, this is a lot of work. Okay? This is a lot of work. But this is just a delicious dish, a delicious appetizer. But yes, there is a lot of work involved in the gutting and cleaning of these anchovies. I'll probably get two, possibly three layers in this dish. Okay. And just lay them next to each other. There you go. See? Lay them next to each other. There you go. So I'm going to continue layering these anchovies. It's going to take me a few minutes. There we go. So far I'm working on the second layer. It will probably turn into three nice little layers of anchovy across the bottom of this baking dish. It's going to be so worth it. So I'm going to continue on and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm finished layering my anchovies, my alici or alici depending on what part of Italy you come from. I actually got four layers in this baking dish. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of ground up sea salt. This is actually Italian sea salt. Okay, Just going to add a little bit. Okay, And I'm going to add just a little bit of freshly ground black peppercorn. This is not necessary, okay? This is not a necessary step. Usually you just do it in the vinegar, but I'm adding the salt and the pepper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add white wine vinegar, okay? You could use white balsamic. You could use red wine vinegar. You could use balsamic vinegar. <clears throat> Excuse me, it doesn't really matter what vinegar you use as long as it has a minimum acid rating of 5%. And you want to add just enough to cover right there. There we go. Because the vinegar is going to get, there we go. The vinegar is going to get tossed off. Eventually, the vinegar is going to go away. Okay, so. You want enough vinegar to cook, and then you give it a little jiggle. Okay. Give it a little jiggle, get that vinegar underneath the layers. Okay. Now, these anchovies are small, and they're thin, and they're rather flat after they've been prepped. Chances are, I can let these anchovies marinate for about four to six hours, just like this. Okay, and it would be ready to serve. But if you want to make sure that they're thoroughly cooked, uh, I would wait a minimum of 12 hours. I would leave them out at room temperature like this with a cover that I'm going to put on, okay, for about three or four hours in the vinegar. And then I would put them in the refrigerator for about another eight, and they will be thoroughly cooked, okay. And then you would move on to the next step of spicing them up and oiling them up and then serving right. them. Now, these anchovy fillets I did last night, okay? These have been marinating for 24 hours. They are completely cooked, okay? They are completely cooked in the vinegar, okay? These are ready to eat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate a few of them up and have some for my dinner. So hang on tight and I'll be right back. Now it's time to plate the anchovies up, okay? 
Now, I padded these fillets as dry as possible with a paper towel. Don't want any of the excess vinegar. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to make a nice little design on the plate. I need to work on my plating skills anyway. There are many ways that this is served. This is just one. <coughs> Excuse me. This can be done right in the center of the plate. If you have bigger anchovies, what I've seen done is them turned upside down and filled with a small chopped salad and then folded over like a fish taco and served that way. But for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to make a nice little wheel. I don't do stuff like this very often. So I'm not a fancy plater like a lot of people are. Uh, I'm not too adept at it. But what I am adept at is eating. And I do enjoy a dish like this. Okay, So let's call it even right here. Let's just call it even right here. So there are the alici, or alici, depending on what part of Italy you're from. Okay. There we go. Look at a little sunburst. Okay. Now, this is how I spice it up, okay? Other people, you see other recipes, and it's strictly, you know, Italian flat parsley and stuff like that. I don't do the flat parsley. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of guys use fresh garlic. I happen to use granulated garlic, just a pinch, just so I can get a little bit on each little alici. Okay? So I use some granulated garlic. There you go. Okay. You see a lot of recipes, they just slice the garlic and they throw the garlic slices, and that can be a little overpowering. So I just like to do a nice, even brush with the granulated garlic. Then, a little bit of Italian sea salt, crushed Italian sea salt. Any sea salt will do. I just happen to have been lucky enough to find some Italian sea salt at the market in a coarse grit, and I just grind it up in my uh, salt grinder. And then a little bit of black pepper, just a little bit of black pepper. Just enough so you can see it. Okay. Now, this is where flavor really <clears throat> this is where flavor really comes in. Some freshly ground oregano bulbs. Freshly crushed. Okay. That's all instant flavor. Instant flavor. Okay. And a little pepperoncino. For those of us who want a little bit of spice, a little bit of peppercino. There you go. And what you don't see very often, some capers. Okay. Nice salty capers. <laughs> All over. There we go. capers, and a little bit of the brine. Delicious. Okay. Then, the one ingredient we need on top of that is the olive oil. Okay. So, here we go. And I love to have a lot of olive oil. And a nice piece of bread to suck it up. All right, there we go. 
Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Now I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes before I even touch it because I want that olive oil and the spices to inundate the fish. Now if I was back in Mr. Melee's restaurant, if I was back working in Stromboli, well, I got to tell you, we would only serve this dish once a week, maybe on Friday or Saturday, okay, because the anchovies are so perishable, Mr. Melee would only order so many, and then somebody would have to sit around and take the head and the guts and the spine and prep this dish, and if somebody wanted the Alici Merinari, they would have to order it, and the deal was 30 to 45 minutes, okay? We would have them all filleted, and we would have them all marinated the day before when we received it, but when we would plate it, okay, when we would plate it in the back, we would let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes so that the olive oil and the spices would inundate the fillets, okay? So it was a rather expensive appetizer, even though anchovies are very cheap, it was the labor time involved. So I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes and let the olive oil and herbs and spices just inundate it, and then I'm going to eat, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, Richard Blaine here, Mr. Easy Cooking. I want to thank you for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. I want to thank you for watching me make you Alici Marinati, or Alici Marinati, Italian marinated anchovies. They're delicious. They make excellent sandwiches. They're great on salads. They're fantastic on pizza. It's just stupendous on pasta. Okay, but I've got to tell you that when you get the anchovies fresh or frozen, it's a labor of love to take off the heads, open them up, clean out the guts, take out the spine. It's the labor of love. But this is the kind of dish that's just so worth the labor. This is the kind of appetizer that you would find, say, during the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Okay, but as I said, you will only find this dish in your finer Italian restaurants. I want to thank you for stopping by. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.